never in my entire trucking career been over 80,000 pounds. So I was caught off guard. I was like, wait, what? All right, I'm at a rest area, as you know, as I often do. I got my load, I went and scaled. And then when I scaled, I saw that I was over 80,000 pounds. I've never in my entire trucking career been over 80,000 pounds. So I was caught off guard. I was like, wait, what? And then I always pick up from this particular location and they're always great about loading me. So I'm like, what the heck? What's going on? Now this truck is a little heavier than my other truck. I'm, I'm, I gotta say that. And the APU is a, a beast back there. That thing, no, it's heavy. But anyway, ooh, the country is coming out. I try to hide it. I, I know y'all hear the countryness in my voice and this thick accent that I have, but um, hopefully you can understand me. So I said all of that to say I scaled a little. I'm over on my drives. Now I can slide my tandems back because I'm only at like 33 or 32 or something on my tandems. And so I'm like, what the heck? I mean, you know what in the world? So I call my company and I'm like, I need to go back and have this load rework. You know, I just basically want to give y'all a heads up. So I do that. I go back there, you know, they're trying to figure it out. So I was like, well, let me let my dis my company know. So I called dispatch. Dispatch was like, hold on, let me have you talk to the homie. His name is not the homie, but he the, he the GOAT. He, he the, uh, the VIP. So he was like, you can be, we figure out that I knew that I had a, a 400 weight allowance, a 400 pound weight allowance for an APU. All right, and then he was like, just slide the tandems back some, can you slide them? Can you, you know, basically like move forward? And I was like, yeah, I got space to move forward. Cause you know, you can't drive with your tandems all the way back. We already know that. And I had to slip my tandems to, to and it popped my seal and everything um, so that they could rework the load and backed up to the door. Um, so I was like, dang, you know, I didn't pop my seal or whatever. So I just put another seal on there and the old seal is on there, but in the trailer, I get pulled into the way station. So I'm like, we breeze through this little way station. If I don't get to bypass, whatever, um, I had to pull in, but then they bypassed me on by. So I scaled my load and then I went back. So I'm basically at that same way station. So this is my second time through. They pulled me in. I'm like, oh my God, no. <laughs> Was there a shift change? So um, the guy, I get on the scale. And it's like stop you know you know and i'm waiting for a minute and i'm like oh my god please don't tell me about to pull me up for an inspection or telling me i'm over <laughs> i'm just like what's going on here so finally a dot i'm assuming a dot guy because he came out in like a vest in a polo it's like he don't look like no officer so he came and i'm like look i got the apu a lot like i'm telling him the rules as if he don't already know like make it make sense it wasn't making sense i was panicking um so he tells me that you're at 80,180 pounds and i'm like what because the scale ticket said i'm not gonna write you because you're not at the 200 pound mark yet okay i'm just doing a courtesy heads up to let you know that your truck is over okay so i mean i understand you got the ap that's fine it's good mm -hmm. i'm just doing a courtesy let to let you know that the truck itself is over 80,000. But we can't write you until you get to 80,200. You're at 80,180 right now. So even with the APU, yeah, you're below what we need to write you down. Yeah, he let me go. He was like, I just want to give you a heads up. If you get any more fuel, you're definitely gonna be over. Where's your fuel level at? And I was like, I'm at three quarters of a tank. I'm, I'm over three quarters of a tank. But my um, the guy from my company did say, you know, like head honcho, dispatcher. He was like, yeah, don't go over three fourths of a tank. Alright, it's 7.02. I've got, I think I started out at like 1,300 some miles. I'm down to 1,100. Um, I'm ready to go to the restroom. Have to do my bladder. And we'll be getting back on the road, headed to Southern. Um, at this truck stop in Baton Rouge, or Allen, somewhere in there. Anyway, um, I got 618 miles to go. I think I started out with 1,300 and I will see y'all when I make it to my destination. So, as you can see, I made it to my, where am I? <laughs> oh my God, I'm tired. I made it to my delivery. Let's see how many hours I drove today. Cause I never tell y'all that. So I'm trying to get into the habit of doing that. Uh, I'm on the phone with my sister. Let's see. I, I'm down to 22 minutes left on my clock. And I drove 619 miles today for 11. 
I was, I guess, on duty for 11 hours and 39 minutes. And then yesterday, I was on duty for 11 hours and 53 minutes. 53, not 53, 53. I don't think there was a difference, but either way. 11 hours and 53 minutes. And I drove 698 miles. So I started to put my camera out, but I was like, eh. I really feel like I should have because he had me back into this dock over. I normally am right there, so it's, that's real easy to get into. But he had me back around this trailer right here over here to the dock that i'm in now and it you know took me a little bit but it, it's not what the heck is that oh i'm some type of butterfly looking something anyway it wasn't hard to get into but i did have to get out and look a couple of times because i don't want to hit the yellow poles to the right as my tractor was flipping back around since i needed to you know get around that trailer over here right over here but yeah so i have my next load i haven't been dispatched yet but it is currently 30 there's a loves like literally one mile up the road i'm hoping that there's a spot but i got a couple backup plans yo i have a couple of backup plans um i don't think i sanitized my hands when i got back in the truck and i just put them on my face great um but they're like 30 minutes away which isn't bad but it's like three or four truck stops right there next to each other so that is my backup in case i can't get into love so it should be straight yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to stop and get in somebody's shower. 